Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Neil. Good morning, you beautiful people. It is nice and early here in not It's nice and early. We've come out to check out the sunrise. It's due to sunrise in about five minutes. So we better get a mosey on up to the sunrise spot. Let's start our day. Hope you guys are well. Let's do this. So the sun is almost upon us. Look at all these humans. Look like little ants, don't they? It is busy here this morning. Go on, Mika. So we're gonna go down here, set up the tripod, get me some sunrise action over that beautiful red rock. Mm-mm. Mm. mm, mm. Okay, this is the spot. Look at that beautiful view. So just to the left here is called the Olgas. And that's where we plan on going today after we enjoy this sunrise. This is a perfect spot. Flies are out. Okay, enjoy this. <laughs> He's eating my eyeball juice. Enjoy the sunrise. Wow, how was that sunrise? Love it. That was incredible. That was definitely, definitely worth waking up for. Hopefully you've seen the rainbow. There's some rainbow action on this side of Uluru. So we're gonna head off to the Olgas now, do our awesome morning hike, which is gonna be beautiful. But I just want to show you this red-back spider, which is Highly poisonous and deadly, and can kill humans, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty much. There's anti venom, but you don't want to get bitten because you, oh, you know. Oh my goodness! So here we go. Are we going in a hole? Oh, no. Oh. no, go, little guy. Redback spider. So he's retreating into his hole. He's holding onto his little beetle there. What a crazy little spider! Deadly. You ready, face? Ready, Neil? I'm ready. We're gonna go see the Olgas. Catch you there. Check out the Olgas. What do you think, Stacey? Pretty beautiful? Yeah. Time to slip, slap, and slop, slop, and slip, and slap. Hat, sunblock, and a t shirt. Protect yourself from the rays, the sunshine. Isn't that right, Meeks? She loves it. The augers are just there. How beautiful. It's just, just getting better and better. I'm real. Slip, slap, slop time. All right, let's get this party on the road. Woohoo! So we're doing the circuit walk, 7.4 clicks. The good news is, the track is open. Woohoo! Let's do this.
we're getting amongst it now. Inside these giant monoliths. This is a singular rock. Is that right, Stacey? Uh, Uluru is a monolith. And Uluru is the largest of all monoliths. Crazy. This is just absolutely stunning. Just for Neil. Doopy, 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 doopy. Banana mm. for me, the apple for you. Woo! Alrighty. We are loving this hike. It is really, really good. Super relaxing. Getting the blood flowing. Eating our fruit for our fuel for this morning. Um, yeah. I have to really say about that. But I mean, let, you know, let, 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 let the scenery let you know what's going down. Look at this beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I mean, Uluru is very similar, but unbelievable. Yes, yes. Ooh, what are these little treats? Bloops. Bloops. So we got the apples, we got the bananas, we got the bloobs. Blueberries. Bloobs is for short for blueberries. This if you didn't didn't know, you know. Alright, let me go. Hold on, let me have some blueberries. We've made it to the next and final drinking station. Wearing my cap like that because I feel cool, but also blocks off the sun from the back there. Keeping the shade. Going to fill up our water bottles. And this water, we think, comes from the ground. It's full of loads of natural min minerals. It tastes delicious. Fill that up, and we have about a 2.4 clickeroo walk back to the car. It's actually been a lot more easier than we imagined. Thirsty work though. Well, that's it. We finished the trail and it took us like an hour and a half to here. I probably think another 15 minutes till we get to, oh look at that river, till we get to the car again. So they did say it would take us about four hours, but it took us three hours yesterday for the walk. I think me and Mika were just dawdling. But, you know, when we get ourselves on these epic trails, we just beast mode it, don't we? Right, beast Beast her. <laughs> it's been absolutely beautiful. Incredible walk through the Valley of the Winds. Yeah, so it's called Valley of the Winds. I want to say Valley of the Kings, although it wasn't that windy. But we got a breeze. We got a few breezes. And the best thing of all, it's about 9 a.m. So it's definitely worth getting up for that sunset. Sunrise, sunrise. It's not very often I see many sunrises. Always asleep. So back to the car. Back to the tiny house. Look at those beautiful things. To the tiny house. Woo! So we're back at the tiny house and it is hot as ever. The sun is pretty high on a temperature gauge. Today we are looking at a holy moly. That is, see that? That's above 40. What is going on? Good job I slipped, slopped and slapped. Slopped, slapped and slipped. Which one is it? Slop, slap, and... Which one? Right. 
that right, Bob? What is it? Slip, slap, slap. Slip, slap, slap. Yes, I'm getting it. It's like an Australian saying. Let's get all the kids, you know, everyone else, because that sun is pretty harsh over here. Apparently, there's no ozone layer, or there is, but it's really, really thin. Skin cancer, wrinkly skin, you know. Anyway, that's why I got the beard. Okay, the so plan is to do some editing, get out the sunshine, and head over to the kitchen area. Just relax and just chill, do some video editing. Let's go over there, I'll see you over there. Check it out. Got the setup, got the mini coffee maker. Kind of warm up some almond milk, make the best coffee, travel coffee in the world. I've set up my laptop club here. I'm gonna edit yesterday's vlog because I have to get up really early this morning for that sunrise which was incredible I only did a little bit of editing because I didn't go to bed till 12 so I wanted to have at least five hours sleep so I wasn't too tired hence the coffee have a nice lovely coffee and just get out the sun because it is about 35 degrees out there at the moment this part of the day is just not wise to be out there you just get burnt I think I got a little bit burnt already from today's sunshine and that was before 11 the time now is 11.30 so I'm going to do a spot of editing and then just chill and relax really and figure out what me and Mika plan to do for the rest of our trip. We really want to go down to the Great Ocean Road and it takes about three days to drive down there so we just want to plan a few things on the way. One thing I really want to do is go to where one of uh, an, uh, an Aboriginal tribe, maybe see if I can pick up a, uh, an original didgeridoo handmade That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, gonna have my coffee, spot of editing, just enjoy the sun, sunshine, enjoy the shade away from the sunshine. So I'll catch you guys in a short while. Mm, mm, mm. sunset and it definitely saved the best for last. This place is just unbelievable. Our time here has been just incredible. I definitely feel as if my mind has been cleansed from the meditative, meditative state that we've been in since we've been here in Uluru. It's just been so relaxing, so peaceful. It's been really good to live here really fresh and happy and positive and onwards or downwards. We're going south now, we're not going any further north. We're heading down to Adelaide and we're going to go across to Melbourne. We still have just over a week until we get back just before Christmas. So, stay tuned. There's more vlogs to come. Please subscribe if you like the videos. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments if you like. Get in touch. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Live a laugh and love. Take it easy. Until then, peace.